Hi everyone, welcome back for another Beauty Crowd Daily. I'm Karen and today we're going to take a look at some of the news and gossip in the beauty world. First, I'll take a look at some of the new products that have come into the beauty sphere. So the first product we're going to take a look at is actually a collection from the brand Inglot and they recently released a collection which is inspired by The Lion King. So this is in celebration of the Broadway musical and you know we know it's going to be great because of all the colours that are going to come from the Lion King inspired collection. So the collection is actually inspired by African sunsets and starry night skies, so you can just guess the kind of colours that are going to come from the range. So a little bit about what's going to actually be in the collection. There's going to be an eyeshadow and blush palette, a lipstick palette, a nail polish, um, also there's going to be a mascara and a felt tip eyeliner. So lots of different and varied products that we all know that we probably will use. So don't worry though, because even though this is an American brand, you'll be able to get it on inglot.co.uk and you'll also be able to get it in Westfield London Shopping Centre in their shop there. So we're really excited about this, we're really excited to see the colours they come out with. Let us know what you think about this, are you really excited about the launch? Don't forget to tweet us at beautycrowd, come and find us on beautycrowd.com and let us know if you're really excited about this too. So next let's take a look at some of the beauty news that's recently come into the beauty sphere. I'm sure we all know how it feels when in the morning our hair just won't go right, it won't straighten, it won't curl, it just won't do anything and then all fails and we just chuck it up in a high ponytail and hope for the best. So that's why we've recently been really surprised and shocked by the findings of a survey. And this survey was done by Opinion Matters and they surveyed 1,024 working women. And this is the results. They found that 68% of the women surveyed found that usually having a bad hair day in the morning means that they'll have a bad hair day in the working day as well. But the bit that we're most surprised at is actually that 33% of the women found that having a bad hair day would actually mean that their boss would take them less seriously. So we were really shocked at this and we don't really know whether we agree with it, but we'd love to know what you think. So don't forget to tweet us at Beauty Crowd and come and find us on beautycrowd.com and let us know if you agree with this. Does having a bad hair day influence your working day or do you just not care or not bothered? So the next bit of news that we've got for you is actually about Bioderma. So if you're a beauty lover and you've always been obsessed with beauty, I'm sure you've used Bioderma, purchased it and are obsessed with it as well. So Bioderma is a micellar water. So this is a great alternative to using cleansing wipes and it's not as harsh on your skin. But the bit of news that we're really shocked and surprised at is that one Bioderma is sold every three seconds across the world. So that's shocking and it just shows how much of a craze this is. So Bioderma was initially developed in France to help Parisian women deal with the region's notoriously harsh water. So it just shows that how good this is for your skin and it's packed with loads of great things that are great for your skin. But what we'd really like to know here at beautycrowd.com is that if you've used Bioderma, if you've used one of the other micellar waters and if you think they're much better than using cleansing wipes and cleansing cloths. So don't forget to tweet us, let us know what you think. So next let's take a look at some of the things that are trending in the beauty world. So we've taken a look at some of the things that are trending recently and something that's popped up quite a few times is faux bobs. So if you don't know what this is, it's basically just faking a bob. So girls with long hair, maybe not even that long, are pinning up their hair to make fake bobs. And we've seen this from loads of celebrities walking the catwalk and also down the fashion runway. We'd love to know if you've faked a bob before, if you think this is something that could be a great huge trend and whether you think it looks good, whether you think it looks ridiculous, but we actually think it's really stylish, really chic and a great way to change up your hairstyle. So that's all the time we've got for today. Don't forget to come back tomorrow for more Beauty Crowd Daily and we'll see you then. Goodbye.